Hey, rolling another chilly day out there, but yeah. on my drive in, I noticed a little bit of haze as you're well, looking out toward the mountains. Well, we had a little patchy fog in the morning, and then when that patchy fog burns off, some of the moisture remains trapped at the surface, the cold air is trapped at the surface, and so any sediments, any kind of pollution, anything like that uh, remains trapped in the surface as well. Think of it as a mini inversion. It's not a true inversion because it's not going to be sticking around for a long time, but this is time-lapse video. You want to get away from that haze, boy, head up to the mountains because the weather up there is is absolutely spectacular. This is Redfish Lake, and as you can tell, not a cloud to be found anywhere, but it was indeed hazy here in the valley. It's going to be dry once again tomorrow. Colder than normal temperature readings are going to continue with high temperatures in the 20s here in the Treasure Valley. Overnight lows dropping down to about 12 degrees, and then expect a snowstorm on Sunday. This is not going to be your average run in the mill storm because behind this storm, there's very cold Arctic air that's going to be moving in, and that's what's going to be driving that front along. That's going to be the feature to watch over the next few days. 25 degrees outside right now with a light wind. It feels like it's 25, humidity at 75%. But there you can see the clear skies we have in the Treasure Valley, other than the fact that we still have some of that smoke and haze that's trapped here on the valley floor. So on our satellite imagery, take a look at the features. Right now, there's really no significant changes to talk about. The flow is going to come in right out of the west-northwest, and this is going to be mostly dry through Saturday. Some of the models are indicating a little fast-moving front is going to come clipping on through during the day on Friday. May generate a couple of flurries on Friday, but all in all, it will not be an accumulation type of event. What's going to be happening as we get deeper into the weekend is that there's this massive area of high pressure that's going to be building right over Alaska and as this thing builds it's going to push the jet stream way up here into the Yukon and then the jet stream is going to be coming down the leading edge of this high pressure and the storm is going to be forming the front that's headed this way is a low pressure system that's going to be grabbing pure Arctic air and it's going to come right down on that northerly flow and move into the state of Idaho on Sunday this is what's going to bring us the, the potential for snow showers on Sunday, but then behind this front, the air is going to be frigid. We're talking about easily temperature readings approaching zero degrees for overnight lows around the middle of next week with the possibility that some areas might actually go sub-zero for overnight lows and temperatures could be in the low teens or in the upper single digits by the middle of next week. That's how cold the air is going to be. High temperatures are going to be in the 20s. Overnight lows will be dropping down to about 12, 11 degrees, kind of like what we saw last night. There will be some patchy fog around parts of the valley. Emmett at about 23 with a low tonight of 9 degrees and up in the Long Valley will enjoy plenty of sunshine after some morning fog with high temperatures up there right around the low 20s. So here's the seven day forecast for the Treasure Valley. Check out the trend. There you can see those temperatures staying in the 20s through Saturday. But then on Sunday, here comes the snow, a few flurries on Monday and the temperatures just keep going down, down, down so that by Wednesday, high temperatures, low teens, and we could see those sub-zero temperature readings around the middle of next week. These numbers I'm sharing with you folks right now might be on the conservatively warm side. The models need a little time to get a handle on it, but I'm just going to tell you right now, it's going to be a Yukon Express that's headed this way, and the mountains will be seeing some significant snow on Sunday and Monday, followed by some very cold air as well. This reminds me a couple years ago, we had a pretty good snow shot in early November, mm -hmm. and then it just, the temperature, November the 2014. fell out. Yeah, yeah that was I remember it. that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, looks like we're stuck with it again for a while. Yeah, it can happen this time of year. All right, well, coming up on KBOI 2 News,